Guten Tag and hello, I'm Lyle from Dragon Zeta Name and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. As promised, we are doing some secondary quests and we are starting with our dear friend Sir Hans. He has something new brewing and we are gonna visit him right now. I think he should be kinda close. Oh no, now the doors are locked. I'm in a private area. I'm sorry. I think he's behind this door. God damn it. He's here, I think. Yes, hi, Sir Hans. I was looking for you in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Henry. Ah, yeah. What's happening, sir? Uncle Sahanush sent for me. No doubt he wants to give me another ear bashing about the error of my ways. <laughs> and he said to bring you two. I don't like the... You deserve it. Oh, you do, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. What is it to do with me? Yeah, what's it to do with me? What has it got to do with me? Plenty. You're in it with me ever since that hunt. All right. We should get going then, shouldn't we, Sir Hans? The sooner we get it over and done with, the better. I suppose so. Right away. I put some of my old clothes in a trunk for you. I don't want you making me look bad in front of Hanush. But I see it wasn't necessary. You look as smart as any courtier. Thanks. I try my best. So I see. But you can come and get those clothes later anyway. They're a little worn, but they're as fine as anything you'll get in the county. I have good clothes. Thank you, Sir Hans. I'm very pl proud of the clothes that I got for Henry. Well, my ward and his, what shall we say, chaperone? Uncle. My lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, Uncle. We like were just... boozing and whoring, for instance? Uh, Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. <sighs> no, it wasn't. Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ! What the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this fiefdom who work from dawn to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours, may I remind you. And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. True. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff here complaining, and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the Lord here you can get away with anything. But you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. A Give lord remains a lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson bu Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. Well, I was only... Oh, I'm don't so whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I'm fully with Sir Hanush on I this. I have a job for you. <laughs> Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. It won't, so I'm sure. of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? He is. He came here with the remnants of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress, Aleshna, was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. Milotta pursued him almost as far as Neuhof and engaged with him. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for Milotta. Wolfren of Camburg? That name is familiar. He's kin to the Oleshna lords, too. A cousin of Bernard's and Melotta's. And their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. What do you want <laughs> us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolfram pillaged some other farms around Neuhof 
and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair. After all, maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get that damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, uncle. Get to work, then. I'm good at talking. Uh, just, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but... I've been known to resolve conflicts without bloodshed, uh, dare I say. Where is Sir Bernard? There he is. Hi. Sir Hannes sent me, Captain. I'm to join your mission. And Sir Hans, too. And mount up, youngster, and we'll move out. So, where are we going? Where's my horse? There it is. Now let's go, I guess. Lord Capon, when we get there, I'd like you to hold back. If you can forget about that, Bernard, I'm not going on an outing. Oh I'm my god, that actually hurt me that he rolled into me. Will. What is happening? Yeah. I know what you meant, yeah. Captain. Forget it. What are we supposed to do with a monster like that? Go down. Bidus and Cyril. I sent them to scout ahead. Those bastards will pay for this. Oh. They most certainly will. Let's go. We have to make camp. Hamlin, we'll take two men and come back here later. I won't have Vitus and Cyril left as crow meat. Yes, Captain. God be with you, Henry. Yeah, and with you, Sir Hans. Talk to Captain Bernard. Wolfen of Camburg. Tell me, Captain, how come this Wolfen is attacking his own kin? They say blood's thicker than water, but sometimes I wonder. Look at our king and Sigismund. So what's the cause of your conflict with Wolfen? Nothing in particular. Just that he's a ruffian, a treacherous bastard, and a bandit. <laughs> no wonder the whole Camber clan is cursed. How are you related? How are you related? Miloda, Wolfen, and I have the same great-grandfather, Urban, Baron of Oleshna. Cursed? How do you mean cursed? Like I said, Wolfen's grandfather married Countess Barbara of Hogwitz. She didn't want to bear his child and went to a witch to get rid of it. Only instead of getting rid of the unborn child, she ended up having five. What, all at the same time? All in one night. But only one of them lived till morning. The youngest, Wilhelm. And his face was disfigured. They say the witch deceived the Countess, and it was Satan himself who impregnated her. Sure. You believe old wives' tales. And you believe that story? Depends how you look at it. Wilhelm wasn't a bad man while he was in his right mind, but he was terrifying to look at. I still get oh my god, he my had a disability. That's so scary. As for Wolfen, word came that he died in Silesia. Then, one day, he appeared from nowhere. There are folk who say death has no power over him. I can change that, I'm sure. What now? What do we do now? First, we have to find out where those horses are holed up. According to the reports, they raided a few farms around here. So someone should go to those places and find out what they can. You should do it, Henry. My men would probably just startle them. All right, I'll go. All right, Captain. I'll do that. Where are the farms? One is uphill from Neuhof, right by the woods. One here above the woods by the crossroads, directly north from our camp. All righty. Goodbye. I can do that. Oh, this looks burned. Have they been attacked? Hello? Hello? Henry's calling. Hello? Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Robber Baron. Captain Bernard sent me. I'm here about the raid on your farm. What? I've no idea what you're talking about, friend. They raided your farm, didn't they? No. I heard there was some raids hereabouts, but not here. Something's not right. The captain sent me here to this very farm. The captain must have made a mistake. I suppose so. May the Lord watch over you. 
I do not believe you. Is that Teresa? Good afternoon. She looks like Teresa. It is a little bit creepy that they are only talking with their backs to me. I know that's the game <laughs> and not that they are actually turning their backs to me, but it's still funny. Captain Bernard sent me. It's about that attack. Well, they came, took everything they could and rode off again. I don't know what else I can tell you. We're trying to catch up with that gang, so I need to hear every detail you can tell me. What do you want to know? What? Why did the guy say there wasn't an attack here? How many of them were there? How many of them were there? Two or three. I'm not sure. My head's still in a spin. Which way did they go? Which way did they go? I don't know. I wasn't watching. My husband made me hide indoors, and I only saw them through the window. So your husband was outside? Yes. He tried to parlay with them. What did they take? What did they take? Not much. We haven't a pot to piss in, which I told them in no uncertain terms as soon as they came here. So you're telling me they came here, you told them there was nothing worth taking, and they just rode off again, without further ado? More or less. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. But just a while ago, you told me you were indoors the whole time. Ah, uh, yes, I was. Mostly. So, were you inside or outside? Did you talk to them or not? Well, like I say, it was confusing. I don't remember much. She's lying through her teeth. You're not telling me everything. That doesn't make sense, exactly. Let's get one or two things straight. I'm here under orders from Captain Bernard, and that robber baron who came here crippled his cousin and killed two of his men. What's that got to do with me? Just so you know, the captain is very keen to see justice done, and it would not be wise to obstruct him. My God, what have I done to deserve this? So, what really happened here? First, promise me you'll get rid of them. That's exactly what I'm here for. They came a few days ago, took a pig and a sack of apples. We put up no resistance. I noticed one of them had an injured leg, so I offered to treat it for him. Why, they came to rob you. You're a good Samaritan, yeah. That was very Christian of you, considering they came to rob you. All I cared about was that they wouldn't kill us. Go on. Makes sense. What happened then? They rode off, and I prayed we'd seen the last of them. Only the same evening, they came back again. One of them had been wounded, and they wanted me to take a look at him. They gave me some coin and took me to their camp. In the morning, I came home again. Lead me to their camp. I understand they threatened you. Are you stupid? I understand. I understand. They threatened you. They didn't exactly threaten me. They didn't Shh. have to. But if they get away from you, they'll come back and get revenge. Don't worry. We'll take care of them. Uh, lead me to their camp, I guess. Yeah. So you know where they're camped? I'd like you to lead me there. I won't go to their camp, no. But I know of a place where you'll have a good view of it. That'll do me. God bless. Woo! We're zipping through the woods with no time passing again. I'm not going any further. If they saw me, I'd be done for. The camp's not far away in this direction. Thanks. And don't worry. I'll deal with those bastards. I pray you do. Okay, thank you. I don't want to attack them right now. I just want to take a quick look. Then I'm going to go back to Captain Bernard. And tell him about the camp. Because we don't like want to... I better get back and report to Captain Bernard. Okay, that's what the game wants me to do too, so... Okay, how many of them are there? A little more than a handful. But not too many. What's that? Nothing? You didn't see anything. What's going on there? You're not seeing anything. Don't say, stop saying stuff. I'm way out, way out of your earshot, I would think. 
Let's get back to Captain Bernard. Tell him about the camp. I'm curious to see what Sir Hans is gonna do though. This is his redemption. <laughs> Captain Bernard, I already found them while you were sitting around. I found Wolfen's encampment. I found that encampment. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. Is it far? Not really. How many men did you see? A handful, about 15. Yeah, around 10. I, I think. Around ten. The same as us. Well, now we'll see if my cousin is really as tough as they say. Otherwise, I'd be swinging tonight from the Rate ramparts. I, yeah, wouldn't it be better to negotiate exactly? Sir Hannes said no bloodshed. Wouldn't it be better to parley with them, sir? Parley with robbers? You must be out of your mind, lad. Parleying won't cost us anything. Yeah, exactly. I promised Sir Hannes we'd try, try to avoid conflict. Yep. I gave Sir Hannes my word I'd look out for his men, and I intend to keep it. So it's my duty to advise a parley. You're going to advise me? You're not seeing straight, Captain. No wonder since Wolfland's your kin. Please, just grant me one thing. Let me go and parley. I'll find out more, and maybe we can settle everything without losing any men. You want to parley? Listen, Henry, you can't rely on Wolfland to act honorably. There's every chance you won't come back. Don't worry. I know it's a risky business, but have you got anyone better for the job? Hmm. No. I'm sorry to say I haven't. Wolfland's a conceited bastard. If he knows you come from me, he'll receive you just for a chance to tell me to go to hell. I'll give you a livery with my coat of arms so it's clear you're my messenger. And you'll have to go unarmed. Thank you, Captain. I'll do my best. I hope so. And try and come back in one piece. I don't want to explain to Sir Radzig why I sent his favorite into a robber baron's camp unarmed. <laughs> That's nice, thank you. See you later. Okay, so put on Captain Bernard's colors and go unarmed. We can do that. Uh, that's this one. Oh, I, go, I had to get rid of my beautiful coat for that. That's a shame. Okay, and get rid of all the weapons. Yep. Did. Did that. Otherwise, I guess they would have just attacked us then. If they saw us. But I'm glad I got the chance to talk to them and then we didn't have to assault them right away. That's what I like about this game. The quests are really well done. You all know I have my problems about the writing, especially now that we had this Wilhelm story. It was just a disfigured man. I know that people used to think they were touched by the devil. But I think there would be better ways to tell these stories. But that's just my opinion. Hello, sir. Hi. Whoops. Hey, you. What do you want? I'm Captain Bernard Zenboy. I'm here to parley. Why should I trust you? I'm unarmed. What harm can I do? Mm, that's true. And you're wearing <laughs> Sir Bernard's colors. I suppose I should take you to Sir Wolflin. But if you try any tricks, you'll regret it. Understood? You have my word. I understand, but you also have Sir Bernard's voice, which is very weird. Oh, so tired. I'm still here. Where is Wolfen? Oh, here. Who do we have here? What's your name, boy? Henry. Henry. I'm a messenger from... I know. From my beloved cousin, Sir Bernard of Aleshna. So, yeah. what exactly is your message? You can go if you leave the loot. You can go if you leave the loot and pay compensation. You can leave with your loot. We'll settle it with a duel. I heard your family is cursed. Why are you hurting the lords of Oleshna? Yeah, let's ask a question first, I guess. Why do you want to hurt the lords of Oleshna? That bastard Malata stole villages that belonged to my father. I was in Poland when my father died, and Malata convinced everyone I was dead too. But you came back though, didn't you? Hi. I came back. 
but Malata bribed the priest to testify that my father made him a deathbed confession. That bastard swore my father told him he was possessed, and so was his son. Me. So they think I rose from the dead and I'm a warlock. They won't hear my claim. What about the land court? That doesn't give you the right to rob punish. That's true, <laughs> but I'm not gonna go all confrontational with this. That's unfortunate. But surely the courts of the king wouldn't believe a story like that. Maybe not, but the king's in captivity and none of the nobles have time for courts. No one will hear my case and by the time this turmoil is over, everyone will have forgotten about me. Yeah, that's kind of what happened to um, Sir Hans as well, because he should already be the Lord, but he can't be because there is no court for him. I heard your family is cursed. I heard some interesting tales about you. They say your family is cursed. <laughs> so Bernard's been telling those stories again. How my Oleshna cousins do love to gossip. <laughs> so your father didn't have... I just want to eat. What? A twisted mouth. Aye. Looked like it was run over by a wagon. And he was born with four siblings and none of them lived. True. But they always leave one thing out of that fairy tale. What's that? That my grandmother was one of five babes and her mother one of four. That's how it goes in that family. And then that talk of the witch. Pah. My grandma couldn't wait to marry my grandfather and give him children. You can go if you leave the loot. Okay, so what do we want? Uh, if you leave the loot, you can go and leave the loot and pay compensation. You can leave with your loot. No, leave the loot. But you don't have to pay compensation. I guess he should pay compensation, but I know I don't know if I can get through with that. Let's go. We with offer that. you safe conduct out of this domain if you leave everything you stole from Zahanish's yeah. subjects. That's a very generous offer. But tell me, why should I accept? Because I'm a nice person. Right, I'm just a nice person. You have no quarrel with Sir Hanush. The locals are baying for bandit blood. Sir Hanush has powerful allies like Sir Radzik. I think I will go for the you have no quarrel with Hanush. Your quarrel is with Melotta, not with Bernard. And certainly not with Sir Hanush, whose estates you're pillaging. So? So leave Sir Hanush's domain and settle your differences with Melotta elsewhere. My quarrel is with everyone who helps Melotta. And Hanush gave him refuge in Ratai. Whew, but I, but I succeeded, apparently. He knows nothing about it. What, what the hell are these choices? I don't know what that is supposed to say. Relatives? Hanish's captain is Sir Melotta's cousin. What did you expect him to do? That's no concern of mine. It's really very simple. My quarrel is with Melotta and anyone who helps him. Anyway, I don't claim to be a saint. It's all the same to me whether I'm plundering the estates of Hanush of Lipa, the Bishop of Radislav, or the Pope himself. I think... You know what? I think you're only here to buy time. While Bernard prepares uh -oh. to attack. That did not work. Well, your time's run out. Go back to Bernard and tell him I'll be waiting for him. God damn it. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Watch out! What the actual fuck? Get over here! Over here! Oh my god. That did not go as planned. I thought I succeeded that thing. God damn it. I didn't fulfill my promise to Sahanush. This is gonna end in blood bloodshed now. Didn't work. Sabanad. I'm sorry. Okay, now I can talk to you. Um, I'm back from the parley. I've just come back from Wolfling, Captain. And in one piece, I see. That's something, at least, but I doubt you achieved anything. Yeah. No, unfortunately. Wolflin is standing his ground. Well, no matter. It was a good idea and certainly a brave deed. At least we've had time to prepare for the attack. Now, all you have to do is lead us to their encampment. Ready when you are. 
Yeah. Ready when you are, Captain. God damn it. I would have liked to do this without bloodshed. And I'm still a little upset that I succeeded my persuasion, but that it didn't help. And we are having another battle. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they are talking? Wolflin of Camberg, for your crimes against Sir Maloda of Oleshna and Sir Hanush of Lipa, you have been declared a reprobate and an outlaw. Will you willingly lay down your arms and accept your just punishment at the hands of Sir Hanush? Or do you intend to offer resistance? That's a difficult choice, cousin. What do you say, man? Well, fuck me, cousin. Am I to take it you intend to resist? I didn't want to, but these men here talked me into it. We're wasting our time, Captain. This brute here <gasps> hasn't Look the honor of a common footpath. These murdering swine slayed Vitus and Cyril. I think it's time they paid for it. What do you say, man? Damn blood right. for blood! At those bastards! Charge! Look at the man who brings me Wolfman's head! Oh, Being responsible and everything. That's certainly new. Oh god damn it! I didn't even get to kill him. Okay, now I need to get back to Sir Bernard, but I'm gonna loot all of these guys first. Give me everything you have that is of any value. Yeah. What are you doing here? Tired Whoa! Of here? Excellent! Well! <laughs> Raise the alarm! Watch out! <laughs> Oh my god, is that wolf? Did Captain Bernard die? Ah, nice. I got him in the end. Does that still count or not? Okay, give me that. Give me his sword. Captain Bernard and Sahan survive. I didn't see them on the battlefield. I just spent like half an hour looting and sorting stuff. I'm a little bit afraid they are dead. Okay, so he's still there, but all the guards were dead, I think. Hey, uh, Wolfen is dead. I've got good tidings. What are you talking about, boy? That horse and routed my men. We barely came out alive. That's as may be, but Wolfen is dead. What? Yeah, I, I got him. him just after you retreated. Are you in earnest? What about the others? They scattered. As soon as you regroup, you can go and catch them. By all that's holy, it's a miracle, Henry. Got a rat eye, quick. And tell Sir Hanish the good news. Okay. See you later. Like you can't see Henry's face in any conversation now because he's wearing that stupid helmet, but... This quest was a little weird. And I'm disappointed that I didn't get to talk myself out of anything. There you are. Hi, Sir Hanush. I'm sorry I didn't do what you asked me to do. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Um, Robber Baron. I have news from the camp, Sir Hanush. Speak. Unfortunately, we couldn't avoid a skirmish. Where's Hans? I hope he's not. There's no need to worry, my lord. Lord Capon's alive and well. 
But we had several casualties. Wolflin hit us hard. And Bernard? He made it. He's trying to round up the men to retreat back here. So that bastard Wolfen's cheated death again? Nope. Not quite. The captain retreated, but I stood my ground and got Wolflin. He's dead. Really? Well, that's something. Without a leader, that gang of his will surely scatter. Well done, Henry. I'm just worried there won't be much left of Captain Bernard's squad. There isn't. Sir, is there anything else I can do for you? No, go and get some rest. Okay, thank you. I'm guessing that is one secondary quest down. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't see anything of Sir Hans's, but I think that's more my fault because I didn't go talk to him. But anyway, that's one of the secondary quests down, and we will continue in the next episode, and I will end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what I do, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe, stay healthy, bye bye, and auf Wiedersehen.